Hello. <laughs> okay, so this poison heart by Kaylin Bayron. So I go in and out of wanting to read fiction because, like, past few years. I've only been like reading non-fiction, so it's kind of like hard for me to get back into fiction. But um, I, I don't know when like this one's going to be when I'm going to schedule this one. But um, I read through this June 2021 and really loved, really loved the storyline. Really loved the characters of this um so it fall i didn't write the name down okay um i take like screenshots of like the books i review so um say your name um yeah, uh, Brisis, uh, B-R-I-S-E-I-S, -E so, like, if somebody can, like, phonetically, <laughs> like, how you see, like, in dictionary definitions, like, write it out how I would, like, say it there, um, so it's about her and her two moms who move out to this, like, one, um, like house that's like nobody's really lived in, in it for like a little while and like it's got like um the like mythical fantasy magic energy attached to it so like once they move in there and it's like her that's um and like you get like flower herbal associations that like she knows like um has an interest in and like it, like she's learning about like finding evidence and all this like she meets a few people and throughout um like one or two actually stay by her side while she's trying to figure this whole mystery out and um so you get like the like herbalism mythology because like there's references to um to a few myths um ancient myths that um are connected to um that don't seem that wouldn't seem really connected to that the place that they live in but um do and it's a real <laughs> I'm not I'm really selling this book short but I do it it doesn't lag like to me it doesn't lag in any spot it's just like one thing right after the other and like they're like like she's yeah she's tying some loose ends up like she's tying stuff up part way through but you still got the bigger picture to solve but um it's really really um i found it to be a really um good book um yeah so she meets a guy named carter so he kind of stays by her side um through all this Um, and like the connection that she has with all the these plants and stuff. Um, but I did find it to be a, a really nice book. So yeah, this poison heart. Um, like, I'm pretty sure there are other booktubers that <laughs> have already done um, 
can give you better synopsis and stuff on this book. I just wanted to give my little two cents on this. That's a, that it is a really nice book to um, read, and it did. Um, it's definitely a reread for me, and yeah, this poison heart. Happy readings.